Hello and welcome. We're really glad you joined us today. This tutorial will help you understand the Takeoff tab in SiteWorks OS version 8. The Takeoff tab is where elevations and areas are entered. The Takeoff toolbar contains the operating commands. Simply click on the desired command to activate it. The toolbar is organized in sections. See the section name at the bottom of the toolbar. Simply put your mouse over any available command to get a description of that command. For more information about the toolbar commands, click the question mark in the top right corner. Then click on the command. In addition to the toolbar, commands can also be activated in SiteWorks OS from the pop-up menu when you right-click the mouse. You can use keyboard shortcut keys shown on the right side of the pop-up menu. And you can activate a command by clicking on the takeoff menu found on the right side of the toolbar. The first item to record at the takeoff tab is the project boundary. The project boundary, which can be changed at any time, must be recorded before anything else. The project boundary is the region where existing elevations are different from the proposed elevations. It's the area where soil will be moved. In this example, the project boundary is clearly marked. When working with other projects, you may need to define the region where the proposed elevations are different than the existing elevations. Regions where no work is performed should be excluded from the project boundary. Here we select the project boundary and we click on include as the takeoff type and takeoff that is include as the display setting. To begin, click the start takeoff command. When you activate the command zoom in out, you can use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom the drawing in and out. To pan, that is to move around, Simply hold down the keyboard control key while dragging the mouse with the left button held down. Simply click on the corners as we move around the boundary. Digitizing curves can be activated by right clicking your mouse or using Alt A keyboard shortcut keys. Here we select Arc. and then click on the apex of the curve and the end of the curve. When done, stop the takeoff from the toolbar or your right mouse pop-up menu. The right side of the window displays the properties of the last item recorded or selected. To make changes, simply record the changes on the right side, followed by clicking the green check mark. After digitizing the project boundary, we'll record the existing contour line elevations found on page 2. To change drawings, click on the active drawing list. Here the existing contour lines are displayed. When working with raster PDF files rather than vector files, there are only two ways to take off contour lines. First, by clicking along the line or second, using the Easy Trace feature. First, here's how to take off contour lines by clicking along the line. Simply click the desired pixels on the screen using your mouse. The contour line is input by connecting the pixels along the line. Simply move along the line and click on the change of direction. When the Show Properties Elevation dialog is turned on under the option menu, you'll be asked for the contour line's elevation. Enter the elevation. By clicking on the Do Not Show dialog, 
this window won't be shown. With contour lines, it's easier to adjust the elevations by increasing or decreasing the elevation by the step value. That's recorded on the elevation section of the toolbar. After entering a step value, the line will end and the elevations are adjusted by 1. Clicking the up or down arrows on the toolbar. 2. Right clicking the mouse and selecting the increase or decrease elevation command or using the F11 and F12 shortcut keyboard commands. For all other items, that is points, design lines, and area elevations, the property slash elevation dialog should be turned on by selecting the command under the options menu. The other way to take off contour lines from raster files is to use the easy trace feature. To activate Easy Trace, click on the Options menu and select Easy Trace. Easy Trace records the line by looking for a contrast from the line color and the background color. After selecting Easy Trace, the background color must be defined by clicking on the Takeoff menu or selecting the command from the right mouse pop up menu. Here we select Background Color, then simply click on the background color. When using the Easy Trace feature, the mouse pointer changes from a crosshair to a circle with a plus sign. Simply hold down the left mouse button as you drag the mouse near the line. When you come to intersecting lines, simply click over the line. The Easy Trace feature generates a lot more points. If a point is recorded by mistake, Delete the points by simply clicking the X, Delete Last Point button on the Action toolbar. The big advantage of working with vector PDF files is the ability to single click the contour line rather than clicking along the line or using the Easy Trace feature. Since this file is a vector PDF file that contains layers, single clicking the line is often the easiest way to record the contour lines. Click on the Select Entity tool from the Vector PDF Toolbar section. With a single click, the contour line is recorded from the poly line. When done with the existing elevations, right click the mouse and select Stop Takeoff. Change the active drawing to page 1 for the proposed elevations. Additional features are available when working with multi-layer vector PDF files. When working with a vector PDF file, a vector PDF toolbar is available on the Takeoff tab. Click the Display Layer List button to show the layers list on the left. The width of the layers list is adjusted by dragging and dropping the mouse. You can isolate layers in two ways. First, clicking on the layer on the layer list turns that layer on and off. It's like a toggle switch. The white box turns off all layers. The black box turns them all on. Or select the layer from the drawing by using the Select Layer button. After pressing the Select Layer button, move the mouse pointer over an object and right click the mouse. Here we can hide all layers except the selection. When wanting to view more than one layer, you'll select the layer and add it to the display list. For example, you want to see the proposed contour lines and its elevations. As a result, add the contour line layer to the display list. Then add the elevation layer to the display list. When all the desired layers are added, select the Show the Display List command to display more than one layer. When done with contour lines, the next step is recording point elevations. Remember, turn on the elevation dialog when recording points. Select Options, Show Properties, Slash Elevation, Dialog. When the elevation dialog is displayed, simply click the point, input the elevation, then press Enter. Click the next point and enter the elevation, followed by Enter. SiteWorks OS creates surface models of the existing and proposed site 
based on elevation points. Once the models are created from points, areas are then placed on top of the surface model as a plane. Existing elevation points are used to create the existing model. Proposed elevation points generate the proposed model. Existing points have no effect on the proposed surface model, and vice versa. The cut and fill volumes are calculated as the differences between the existing and proposed surface model. Elevation points are generated three ways with SiteWorks OS. First, a series of equidistant points, all at the same elevation, are generated along a contour line. Next, points with the recorded elevation may be placed throughout the site. And finally, points are generated from sloping design lines. A sloping design line has different elevations at the beginning and the end of the line. A series of equidistant points are created along the design line and the elevations of these points increase or decrease along the line. Many projects do not require sloping design lines. Often the 3D model is created properly by connecting the points to the next closest point in all directions. The design line tells the software that you want to connect a certain point, not to the closest point, but to a different point. Here's how you record sloping design lines over the parking area. After generating the contour line, spot, and design line elevation points, it may be a good idea to review the 3D models before recording the proposed areas. If the 3D models look reasonable, the next step is to record and place the proposed areas onto the site. Thanks for joining us for this tutorial about the Takeoff tab in SiteWorks OS version 8. And of course, please contact us if you need further help. We're eager to be of assistance to you.